In the last lecture, we learned what is a pure pipe in Angular. So we learned that pure pipes are those pipes which gets executed when Angular detects a pure change on the input value. Okay, so a pure pipe is only executed when a pure change to the input value is detected. Now what is a pure change? A pure change is when the input type on which we are using the pipe is of primitive type and when the value of that primitive input changes, that is a pure change. Also, if the input on which we are using the pipe is of reference type and when the reference of that input changes, that is also a pure change. So for example, here we are using this percentage pipe on this student.marks. So this marks is of number type, that means it is a primitive type. So when this value will change, that will be a pure change. In the same way, we are using this filter student pipe on this student's array and an array is of reference type. So this students is nothing but this student's property. So when the reference of this student's property will change, that will also be a pure change. And in that case, the pure pipe will be executed. So currently, if you notice, when we are adding a dummy student, what we are doing is we are creating a student copy. We are pushing a new student to that student copy array and then we are assigning that student copy array to the student's property. So here the reference will change and when the reference changes, that is a pure change. And when there is a pure change, the pure pipe gets executed. In the same way, here also we are creating a copy of the student's array. And on that copy, we are changing this gender value of the first student. We are changing it to female. And then we are assigning this student copy to this student's property. So again, here the reference is changing. And when the reference changes, that is a pure change. And in that case, the pure pipe gets executed. So if I go to the web page, currently this table is displaying all the students. Now let's go ahead and let's filter this table by gender female. So it should be female. And you can see that only female students are being displayed in this table. Now, when I click on this add student button, a new student will be added and the gender of that student will be female. So that will also reflect in this filter table. Let's see that when I click on this add student, a new student has been added. And since the gender of this new student is female, that is also being displayed in this filter table. In the same way, when I click on this change gender button, in that case, the gender of the first student will change to female. So that student will also get displayed in this filtered table as you can see. So mark what is the first student. So earlier the gender was male, but now when we clicked on, clicked on this change gender button, the gender changed to female. And since the gender is female, it is now being displayed in this filtered table. And this is possible because currently we are not updating this student's array directly. We are creating a copy, we are doing the changes on that copy and then we are assigning the copy to this student's property. So here the reference is changing. And in the last lecture we also learned that whenever we create a new pipe, that pipe is by default a pure pipe. Alright, now in this lecture, let's learn what is an impure pipe and what are its performance implications. For that, let me comment this code and let's also comment this code. Okay, now here instead of creating a copy of the student array and then doing the changes, what we are going to do is we are directly going to access this student array and we are going to push a new student. Okay, so let me copy this object from here, this student object and let's pass it here. Okay, in the same way here also instead of creating a copy and then changing the gender, let's directly access this student array. Let's access its first element, the first student, and then let's change his gender to female. Okay. Now, if I save the changes and go to the web page, and now if I search by female, so two female students have been displayed here. And now, if I click on this add student button, you will not see the newly added student whose gender is female displayed in this filtered table. In the same way, if I click on this change gender, the gender of the first student will change to female, but we are not seeing that student in this filtered table. That's because here the reference is not changing. And since the reference is not changing, this change is not a pure change. 
and since the change is not a pure change the pipe is not getting called because currently this filtered pipe is you know this filter pipe is a pure pipe it will only get called when the change is a pure change and here the change is not pure because the reference is not changing and that's why we are not seeing those two students in this filtered table but if i remove this text from here you will see that a new student has been added with his gender female and also the gender of the first student has changed to female now one way to resolve this problem is by making the pipe impure so let's go ahead and let's make this filter pipe impure for that we can add another property to this object which is pure and we can set it to false by default the value of this pure property is true and that's why every pipe is by default a pure pipe but when we set its value to false in that case the pipe is impure pipe so now if i save the changes if i go to the web page and if i filter by gender so by female you will see that the two female students have been displayed when i click on this add student the newly added student whose gender is female is also being displayed in this filter table and when i change the gender of the first student that first student will also get displayed in this filter table now with impure pipe we have this behavior because impure pipes gets executed for every change detection cycle and since the impure pipes are executed for every change detection cycle it can significantly impact the performance of the application so you have to think very carefully when you make a pipe impure that's because an impure pipe is processed on every change even when the source data does not change they run unnecessarily when not required and to prove that the impure pipe gets executed for every change detection cycle let's do one thing let's go to vs code and on this table let me add mouse move event and to this mouse move event let's assign a method and let's call it on mouse move okay and let's go ahead and let's implement this method now this method is not going to do anything and here in this pipe whenever this filter pipe will get called this message will be logged in the console right that means on this table whenever we will move our mouse a change will be detected and when that change will be detected since this filter pipe is an impure pipe because we are setting this pure property to false this filter pipe will get executed okay and here this event name is mouse moves so this m should be in lower case all right with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page let's open developer console all right so now you see whenever i am moving my mouse over this table this filter pipe is getting called as you can see so these many times this filter pipe has been called and because of this an impure pipe is not good for performance and this is the reason why angular team recommends not to use pipe to filter and sort data that's because if we use pure pipe for filtering or sorting data in that case the result will not be as expected and we have seen that with some examples and if the pipe is impure pipe in that case sorting and filtering will work properly but it will significantly impact the performance of the application and that's why angular recommends to move the filtering and sorting logic into the component itself instead of using a pipe in the next lecture let's see how to implement filtering in a component without using a pipe